Colonel Sanders is kind of <clears throat> making me choke on my words. <laughs> Look, this is gonna be a trip, okay? I'm gonna be reading a lot, and you know how that goes. I'm not ready for this. New game. Wait, welcome, Chef. Should we do Chef Rinzi? <laughs> the name's Chef Rinzi. Welcome to my kitchen. I threw the knife. Because every time you use a knife, you gotta throw it first. A few moments later. How come I can cook a knife and nothing happens? I don't usually try to start fires, okay? I'm just not happy. I'm not happy with where I am. Oh. I'll cosplay as Chef Rinzi. You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment forever. <laughs> or, do I have a rooster in my room? How? Or you could wake up now, now, now. Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. We're smacking that clock. Smack that clock like you smack that what? ass. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. Why the longest title in the world? University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. I thought we knew that it was an academy for learning by the fact that it was called university and school, but that's fine, <laughs> okay? Your mind begins to wander. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by and you find your imagination getting away from you. I think we should daydream a bit. It's here, finally! Your first day of culinary school. So many dishes to prepare, so many students to meet. Your mind is swimming with possibilities when you realize you're running late. You grab a biscuit and burst out the door in a hurry. You're in such a hurry, in fact, that you forgot to put on any deodorant yeah. before running out the door. You're sweating buckets as you rush to arrive on time. Oh no, this is a little too accurate. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met and you absolutely love her for it. Good morning, Rinzi. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? Actually, I'm... Because I sure am! Excited? A little nervous? Okay, okay, a lot nervous! It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but, well, then when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? You will. Classic oh. Miriam. <laughs> Raised by Master Chef parents?! Now you're getting me a little mad because she's got Master Chef parents. What do I have? I have a dorm with two posters. How? But if we're friends, we're friends, okay? We're friends. She's always held herself to a very high standard. Ever since we were little babies playing together. <laughs> Wait, who talks like this? Ever since we were little babies playing together, you rescued me from that quicksand box. It's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're gonna do great. Wow, this character is way nicer than I am. But with University of Cooking School Academy for learning this famous three-day only semesters, I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. Me too with long sentences like that. Should you pep talk her or change the subject? Oh my god, change the subject to school gossip? Absolutely. What gossip do we have? It's hard to see Miriam like this and frankly quite exhausting <laughs> terrible rather than dwell on her anxiety you try to change the subject to something more interesting all summer you've been hearing rumors about a dreamy enigmatic mystery student who is enrolled at the school yeah that's a little worrisome but you'll be fine now what about this mystery student any new deeds get this i heard his name is harlan and he's no ordinary student they say he has power He's had them ever since he was born from an egg! Is this Colonel Sanders? But that thing about having powers, it would line up with some of the other rumors I've heard. <laughs> what? I heard he once fought a bear with just his smile. Why would he need to fight a bear in the first place? You both sigh, thinking about a student so handsome that the laws of physics don't dare apply to him. Dreamy. Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. Not the spoons! It's Ashley, your arch rival? There's something arching about her, and I don't think it's the rivalry. Butter me up like a biscuit, Ashley. You disgusting. Me. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shit. <laughs> oh, she has such a way with words. You leave Rinzi's shins alone. They are perfectly normal shins. Thanks, Miriam. 
You can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. You know for a fact that it's actually Ashley, but she just had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Man. He stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight, you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they are rocking glutes. Him, Van Van. Oh my god! You rang, rang! No! I can't believe that University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would ever allow people like you to attend as students. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. Could learn something from somebody if I just got out of the quad and stopped being bullied. See you later, losers. Wow. <laughs> As you approach the door, you see a goofy looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. Oh! <laughs> Oopsie! Did he just shit his pants? I think it's broken! You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Uh, that should do the trick. I love you! No, that's me. That's for sure me. My name's Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. Could someone like this also be a student at the school? That is so mean. Name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. Is it just me or is he kind of cute? Miriam, he's a child. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. A scruffy looking pooch takes his place at a podium at the front of the class. Adorable. No, no, quiet down, everyone. Who is this unreasonably cute pup and why is he in our culinary class? You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of UCSAL. Please call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Wolf. I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. God, I wish I went to the school. Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. I'm chilly! Someone closed the window! And then... Oh! He walks in. Ha 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 ha. You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. <laughs> Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. If it isn't my favorite student, uh, Harland. This, so he is Harlan? I thought his name was Colonel Sanders, like first name Colonel, last name Sanders. Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry. Professor Dog before he can finish his sentence. Please call me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. <laughs> A hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to bead across your brow. You feel like everyone's looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. And this over here must be sweaty sweat. <laughs> like, she's got banger lines, okay? She might be bullying me, but she's not wrong. You turn to find Colonel Sanders standing right in front of you. Colonel Sanders, beautiful angel that he is, stands before you, smiling gently, his hand outstretched. Boy, howdy, this classroom gets hotter than a Kentucky fryer. Please, use my handkerchief. You freeze up! Colonel Sanders is talking to you! Wait, Colonel Sanders is talking to you about how sweaty you look? You're completely mortified. This can't be your first interaction. What if he never forgets this moment? Then I succeeded. How will you respond? Take, take the handkerchief. You stretch out your hand and Colonel Sanders places a fine silk handkerchief in it. It's so beautiful. Oh, he liked that. It's so beautiful. You hesitate to press it to your face, but when you do, the feeling is transcendent. It has his natural scent on it. It smells of the most delicious chicken you've ever smelled. That's his natural scent? Ew. Welcome to University of Cooking School Academy for Learning, the greatest culinary academy in the world. Many challenges await you. There will be tears, there will be blood. And when all is said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sporks and compete in the broom cooking area. Arena can reading. Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. Oh! Uh, hi guys, sorry. Sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss it. 
quiet! Late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue! You're on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in this school. <laughs> With you as my teacher? Wait, no, that's actually me. Everyone stares at him blankly. Does, does no one remember me? Uh, I'm- You're expelled! If you utter one more word before I finish. Damn, this dog is not pulling any punches. Or wolves. Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. You turn to see the student Sprinkles is referencing, who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. <laughs> oh, Clank, you rascal. Is that, like, abuse? If you're a kitchen appliance, we're using you to cook. Settle down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Hey, Renzi, there's still a seat here. It seems, though. <laughs> <laughs> it seems no one has claimed this seat next to me if you're interested. I mean, we're we're gonna sit next to Colonel Sanders. I don't care about Miriam at all. Ooh. She'll understand, okay? This is Hottie McCotterson. Like, we're not gonna let him sit alone. It appears he brought no books, pens, or pencils. However, his perfect upright posture shows off a seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. Thanks for offering me this seat. I've only had two rules. Do all you can, and do it the best you can. It's the only way you ever get that feeling of accomplishing something. That's so inspiring. A little off topic if you ask me, but okay. Yeah, I don't know what he just said, honestly. Think fast. It's time for a pop quiz. It's the first day. If, if train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Extremely. Looking at you, Pop. Forest is to tree as chicken is to food. Feather. That's right! What food is best for a broken heart? Anything as long as it's prepared with love and not too much salt. Aww. That's right! I'm so good at school. Is Sprinkles a good boy? He's a talking dog that teaches at culinary school. He is the best boy. That's a very weird question to put on a quiz, but <gasps> I got a perfect score! You look up to see that Colonel Sanders has been watching you tally your score. He's impressed. Bro, keep your eyes on your paper, okay? I know we just met, but I have to confess. I think you have a beautiful brain. <laughs> it's all squishy and juicy. Mm. The cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. Uh, everyone, can I have your attention? Is it about lunch? No, I just wanted to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was... Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Red flag. Hey, I, I was... It's about lunch. But, but I... Shh. That's so mean, Miriam! Lunch, lunch, lunch! She said, shh. Yeah, Pop, shut the hell up and drink your juice box. That poop on your uniform, you had sprayed diarrhea. In honor of the new semester, I prepared something special to share with everyone at lunch. You hold your breath, waiting to see what food this mysterious student has created. <gasps> Why is he a student here still, though? Like, did he get held back? If this is what he's making, why is he here? Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken? Wait, so this is Colonel Sanders' <laughs> origin story. This also is an advertisement for a place I will never eat at. By my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. But that's all I'll say about that. What? You think we want your stupid secret recipe, dude? Pshaw! Nah, dude, nah. That was just like writing in my diary. Dear diary, today I smelled something beautiful. I knew at that moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. She's trying to get with him. You see her body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she slides closer to Colonel Sanders. She realizes that he's destined for greatness and, and fame with cooking skills like this. She wants him all to herself. You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of this bucket and sink your teeth into it. Tasting Colonel Sanders' food transports you to another dimension. Alone with your taste buds, gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. Focus your mind and meditate on this moment. Try and identify every flavor. Swim toward the light. I'm gonna die if I swim toward the light. Try to identify every flavor. You let the food rest in your mouth and focus on it, scrutinizing every flavor. Salt? Maybe. <laughs> basic ingredient. Could it be? <gasps> you snap out of it and realize that this information was meant to remain a secret and yet now you know. What exactly was on that chicken? Oh, he's nervy. 
<laughs> How bold of you to come out and ask. It's an idea I had. What is that he's holding? <laughs> For a, a new combination of flavors that will make me my fortune and establish my legacy for all time as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. It's just you and me here talking so like I could keep a secret. In fact, I've got some of my own that I'd be willing to trade. What's the rush? The semester's only getting started. We've got a few more, uh, wait, we've got two more whole days to get to know each other? The semester's only two days? <laughs> Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone and then leans in. You could feel his warm breath as he whispers. Just one ingredient, but you can't tell. I use bab bab And bab bab definitely isn't the flavor you tasted before. So now you're two ingredients closer to knowing the full recipe, but you don't tell Colonel Sanders that. Oh, we are fully playing him right now. <laughs> you find Colonel Sanders outside, standing in the quad. Oh, it's you again, howdy. Sometimes I like to come outside and look at the school buildings. Think about how my story will continue on after I graduated. You are such an asshole. Oh. Alone together for the first time, you figure now is the perfect moment to show your personality to him. I feel like maybe we should wow him. We're gonna try to like make him trust us and then trust him. You know about that. I, I was thinking about your secret recipe. I don't doubt it. It has a way of leaving an impression on all who taste it. You decide to show him that you also know a thing or two about blowing minds with new flavors. I actually had some thoughts on how you could improve it. Improve it? You want to change my secret recipe? And you think you could do better? I know I could do better. You can't just toss new ingredients into my secret recipes and expect to improve it. Oh, he's mad. I didn't mean to. Let this be the last time you improvise on my recipes, Rinzi. Oh, screw you. You could have politely declined. You didn't have to attack me all of a sudden. You step into the massive cooking arena where the afternoon lesson will take place. For today's lesson, we'll be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair off. Anyone but Colonel Sanders. <gasps> Naturally, Miriam looks over at you, but, you, but unable to control yourself, you pounce on Colonel Sanders. No! My disappointment is immeasurable. Without you as a partner, Miriam is left standing all alone. Two different students quickly take notice. Hello, new partner! <laughs> Beep boop. Two potential partners? Uh, I'm so sorry, gentlemen, but I, I don't know who to choose. It looks like you'll have to pick for her. I feel like Clank has some secret superpowers. And there's no- I don't want any diarrhea on Miriam, so Clank it is. Clank judders and a panel shakes loose. You get the impression that this is a sign of affection. <gasps> Are they gonna start dating? Alright, you two. For today's lesson, we're gonna keep it simple. Pick a basic dish and divide up the steps. Which dish do you suggest to your partner, Colonel Sanders? Definitely grandmother's mashed potatoes and gravy. Are you kidding me? Colonel Sanders casts a coy look at you, causing your whole face to go beet red. Looks like things are getting pretty fresh around here. Does someone have a crush on Colonel Sanders? Uh, jealous much? We're just cooking partners. Mind your own business. Sanders' heart is my business. And you'd better keep your fingers off of my man. Howdy there, Ashley Van Van. Are we working in a quartet instead of a duet now? Colonel, if you- <laughs> What is the music? Jesus Christ! If you ask me, I might make a better partner for you than this thing that has positioned itself at your station. Nothing about this makes sense. It doesn't- No, you're right. The music too. I don't know what's going on. You look down at your station and realize that in the tension of the moment, your hands have been cooking on autopilot. Colonel Sanders extends his hand. He's holding a beautiful white porcelain gravy boat out of which pours a smooth brown gravy, smothering your nearly finished potato dish. Now, where did he get that gravy? Gravy flows down mound of mashed potatoes. The words they're using are very specific. Colonel Sanders <laughs> holds a spork out to you. How romantic. You reach out and grab hold of it, but he doesn't immediately let go. The two of you stand holding the same spork, and for that small moment, all of the madness and pressure in this crazy world stops. If you love something, set it free. Um... Huh? <laughs> What do you love, the spork? You dig the utensil to the mashed potatoes and lift the heaping spork full up when you see Ashley with a sinister look. And then, filled with rage and without thinking, you fling a spork full of mashed potatoes right into Ashley's stupid, beautiful face. Hold on right there, Rinzi. We do not waste food in the broom cooking arena. Colonel Sanders, I expect better from you. Man, man rushes back over, a covered dish in his hand. 
mashed potatoes with gravy? Pathetic. In just a few minutes, I prepared a full meal, gazed upon my specialty, braised tentacle of octopus in my silky saltwater sauce, plated on a battle axe blade, <laughs> forged by my supreme chef ancestors. Uh, you've ignored me for too long? That ends now. It is I who will have the first bite, and you will all look on with envy. The interrupting student rushes at Van Man and swipes a bite of his signature dish right off the plate. No! Don't! I think the octopus was rushed and may have turned in the process. The results could be toxic. Too late. <gasps> it's been eaten! No! I don't feel so good. It killed him! No! When you look back at the plate, the rest of it is gone. <gasps> you notice the tip of the tentacles being slurped up in Pop's mouth. Pop winces in pain for just a moment, then is almost immediately back to his oblivious self. Oopsie. <laughs> the class bell rings, disrupting the moment and snapping everyone back to reality. It would appear that Pop's enthusiasm for trying new things, despite obvious danger, has inoculated him against poisons of all kinds. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure the professors here make enough money. <laughs> that you're shaken up by that really annoying student and all his nonsense. Colonel Sanders approaches you. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Let me walk you home. What? Like for real? Oh, come on. At night, the school building has taken on another vibe entirely. It's dark and more than a little spooky. Colonel Sanders stands in the quad's neon glow and speaks softly. Those mashed potatoes. You made in class today. They were amazing. He loves me for my mashed potatoes. It reminded me of why I became so passionate about food to begin with. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that smart monster is here to fight a hero! Um, what? The spork monster? How dare you threaten me just as I was laying down my guard and connected with another chef on an emotional level. It's a turn-based fighting sequence. What will you do? Trepidation. You close your eyes tight, but then open one just enough to squint and see the spork monster across the battlefield. For some reason, this makes you feel more prepared for what comes next. Spork monster goes on the attack. They spit hot gravy at you. Okay, so defense is dumb, so let's attack. You decide to go on the attack. Cook with love or chow down? Cook with love! Cook with love does one damage! Spork monster won't forget this. Spork monster uses utility utensil! If you take any more damage, you're not gonna survive the battle. A vile villain! Your reign of terror stops here! He just became British. I don't know why. Colonel Sanders summons the energy of th thousand chickens! Pot pie power bitch! Spork monster is defeated. You saved me. No student will ever walk the quad in fear again. This monster messed with the wrong chef. You ready your final attack? You'll never survive my student debt loan destruction. <laughs> it does 10 damage. It does a lot more to me. You continue to surprise me, Rinzi. The defeated monster left behind a special item. It's a book of magic spells. As you come down from your battle buzz, you realize that your final attack has left you completely depleted. The world around you begins to fade away. The image of Colonel Sanders flashes before your eyes as you fall asleep. He must have helped you get home. What a guy. Good night. <laughs> My Colonel. Ew! You meet up with your bestie in front of the school. Before you can tell her about the encounter with the spork monster, she launches into a story of her own. Okay, I know this might sound a little strange, but I think I might be, um... I think I might like Clank! Of course you do! Clank's a catch. Maybe it'd be best if you took it slow with this new boy, like I am, with Colonel Sanders. <laughs> God, I'm so annoying. You and Colonel Sanders? The coolest guy in school? The most famous student to ever attend University of Cooking School Academy of Learning? Your thing now? Uh, why are you doubting it, Miriam? Look at her face, she's like... We definitely connected yesterday. Sure you did! You're great! Why wouldn't he be into you, I guess? I guess! See, this is a bad friendship! You have an idea about how to prove that your love is real. Well, if he's not into me, why did he tell me one of his secret ingredients? <gasps> Why would I tell her that? Why am I actually getting mad? <laughs> 
So this summer, while I was on vacation with my family, a lovely man approached me in the botanical garden while I was wandering. He told me all about his passion for spices, secret spices. The man even gave me some to show me what he meant. He said it was a powder created from super duper rare dried flower petals. I don't know if that's what it was, Miriam. I don't think you should be collecting powder from strangers. And that if I did him a big favor, I could have some of my own. So I filled my suitcase with them and brought them home. Miriam is a drug dealer. <laughs> I bet he would love to know more about new spices. Miriam, this isn't about you. It's not about you or the strange man that you're talking to. It's about me. Well, I I'm definitely not supposed to share Colonel Sanders' secret recipe. And besides, I only know the one ingredient, so I doubt it'd be much use to anyone. Please, please, please. It would mean the world to me. No. Make up a fake ingredient. I'm protecting a secret. Also, just because I don't like her. <laughs> you quickly think of a fake ingredient name. It was Eye of New. I know, it sounds like some kind of witch's potion but what can you do? Her eyes light up imagining such a thing and you figure that you've satisfied her curiosity and she'll move on. However, she immediately turns around and does some thumb typing on her phone that you can't quite see. Before you can ask her to confirm that she was definitely not texting secrets to other people, you're interrupted. A wind rushes in. Cherry blossom petals fill the air. It's Colonel Sanders! He's arriving at school! We need to stand back and admire his glory. Without ever acknowledging that he's being watched, he does a short horse dance before dismounting with a flourish. Very Fortnite of him. You're so struck by the sight of him that you lose the ability to speak coherently. Oh, I didn't realize anyone was watching. You attempt to compliment Colonel Sanders, but the words don't come out exactly right. What a horseful beauty you have. I mean, what a horseful beauty you have. Dang it, that's what I just said. <laughs> Oh, brother! Being a good friend, Miriam attempts to cover for you. Rinzi just gets really nervous around people they like. <gasps> Miriam, you can't just say that! She gives you a wink and a smile as if to say situation handled. Can't blame a girl for trying. I can't blame a girl for sabotaging when you enter the classroom. <laughs> you can see your two rivals, Ashley and Van. Van, almost forgot the second Van, my bad. Are doing something bad. Like counterfeiting recipes bad. Experimenting with restricted ingredients bad. Summoning a demon bad? Dude, what? is this game we haven't gone on a single date by the way Aww. why don't you make like a bee and mind your own wax honey <laughs> no no she did not just say that to me culinary school is to be respected this kind of nonsense is a waste of everyone's time i really can't tell who the bully in this story is everybody is a bully you finally get a look at what it is they were hiding and you instantly recognize it it's a book just like the one you found after your encounter with the spork monster. Why didn't I pick that up myself? Students, students, please take your seats. I apologize for my late arrival. Um, I'm sorry, but didn't we say that tardiness was not accepted, professor? Sorry, not to be an asshole, but you are one. I spent the morning chasing a car all around town and my tiny legs are very, very tired. Okay, I take it back. Great answer to why you're late. Without further ado, we'll review the global history of my favorite fowl, the chicken. You want to pay attention to the lesson, truly you do. Which is why in 1776, at the signing of the Declaration of Independence, it was a chicken who first signed the name. But you can't help but daydream about Colonel Sanders, and you miss most of the important parts. When you come to, Sprinkles is holding a tray of food in front of you. Naturally, this appears to be a sample platter. Which item do you want to sample? The pepper, because it's shimmering? A brightly colored pepper stands out from the other items. It sparkles in, a mo in the most eye-catching way. So naturally, you reach out, grab it, and eat it right away. However, your body is not prepared for the heat. Am I gonna shit myself? The pepper has triggered an intense spice hallucination. My friend, This guy again? I'm here to give you an important message. You must attend to my death. And everyone staring at you. That pepper was the last of its kind on Earth, and now it's gone forever. I 
can get it out for you real quick if you give me a laxative. Come on, it's time for lunch. Before anyone can relax, the cafeteria lights dim. Bro, can we just eat lunch in peace? Today's lunch will be prepared via timed competitive cook-off. Um, no, thank you. I'd like to just eat, please. I really don't want to do this. You're on. A huge light flashed you in the face, flashing the words timer ready. The hard way. Build solidly a foundation of confidence that cannot be swept away. Can you speak a sentence that's normal? It's time to boil some water for the potatoes. Think fast. If the timer runs out, you'll be forced to pick randomly. Oh, crap. Okay, what temperature does water boil at? Am I dumb? Oh, that's wrong. What were you thinking, Rinzi? Get your head in the game. I can't do that. I don't know Paradise vs. Sussie. You're gonna need to season this chicken before you cook it. You don't know Colonel Sanders' recipe exactly, but you have an idea. How many herbs and spices? 11, that's right. You might not know all of the ingredients yet, but at least you're headed in the right direction. Now that you've got some basic steps going, it's time to elevate your craft. What state of mind offers the most flavor? Uh, filter lens. No! It's wrong! Uh, next question. I can't do this. Your classmates are rooting for you, but Ashley is simply stronger and faster than you. Better pick up the pace if you want to survive. When you were a child, your father told you to never forget where you came from. <laughs> Every day, you meditate on his advice and draw energy from that place. Now would be a great time to harness that energy, so where does it come from? A small town where big dreams are born. That's right! This is your shot, and you're not gonna miss it. What is the sound of success? It is sizzling. It is si No! It's not sizzling! Who said it's sizzling is this the end yep game over they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand we're gonna do this you notice colonel sanders out of the corner of your eye i believe in you Rinzi. he's actually cheering you on which would be awesome except knowing he's watching you makes you totally forget what you were doing now all you can think about is colonel sanders how many spoonfuls of gravy would it take to fill a traditional victoria bathing tub ah what were you thinking get your mind back into the competition you're you're stranded on desert island with only one des dessert cookbook which do you take what a hunk sorry i forgot the question you and colonel sanders at wedding vows ah what does that have to do with grabbing spectacular fried chicken and delicate baked biscuits at the next station over ashley has already begun plating elements of her dish it's colorful and complex to make up time you toss your biscuit dough into a stand mixer as you do the crowd gasps and a good chef needs to be touching the dough to know when it's properly mixed uh oh there's an easy way and a hard way you don't get far by going the easy way when you hear everyone talking you realize how serious your error was you immediately shove your hand in the mixer to rescue your dough before it's over mixed Rinzi, no but you're not fast enough and your hand gets stuck it's immediately crushed by the quickly spinning beaters there's no way you'll be able to use that hand for the rest of the match colonel sanders shakes his head in shame what you often find is that the easy way could turn out much much more difficult my hand is broken can we get the nurse here to give me an ice pack everyone stop what you're doing right now this battle is over it wouldn't be fair to compare the two on account of Rinzi's injury but i suppose uh you should at least tell us what you prepare because i'm the sweetest i skipped straight to dessert oh my god under this white chocolate dome you'll find a wide array of delights taking you on a journey of flavor that tastes good and tells a story of excellence i was gonna ask Rinzi to do the honor but since you're injured i'm afraid that pouring this creamer of delicate hot chocolate sauce might be too difficult colonel sanders if you wouldn't mind lending me your strong steady hand Colonel Sanders seems intrigued, but perhaps not impressed as he dips his finger in the chocolate sauce. Simplicity isn't your strong suit, is it, Ashley? As he places a sauce-covered finger into his lips, ew, Ashley leans over and whispers something into his ear. Internalize the rage you feel or put yourself between Colonel Sanders and Ashley. It might be better to internalize, but that's what I always do when it ends up going really wrong. I'm internalizing. Your rage burns so intensely within your eyes that they burst into flames. The flames cause your eyebrows to catch fire and turn to ash, and they fall off your face, which means people will have a hard time understanding your emotions for the rest of the semester, perhaps forever. In Embarrassed and ashamed by your poor performance, you run for the quad to be alone. The beautiful weather feels like an insult. Inside of you, a storm rages. It's Colonel Sanders! He's probably here to tell you that he and Ashley are in love and decided to get married! <laughs> I know you're hurting right now. Not just from the devastating loss, but from that run-in with the mixer and that uh, small fire. Can you just leave me alone? I'm a loser. I'm not fit to fill your fryer.
I'll never be a master chef. Failure is a part of life. Not just for you, but for all of us. Do you think I've never failed at anything before? That's exactly what I think. <laughs> So toxic. Well, then think again. I wasn't always the man you see before you. Enrolled in culinary school, incredibly handsome, successful, motivated. Also old. Very old. Though I've walked other paths and arrived at dead ends. I was passionate about life, but I failed. As an obstetrician. I was passionate about justice, but I failed as a lawyer. I was passionate about livestock, but I even failed as a mule handler. That one was especially humiliating. Mules can be so cruel. I didn't know. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing with my life? I resolved then that I was going to amount to something. No amount of hours, labor, or money would deter me from giving the best I had to give. One has to remember that every failure can be a stepping stone to something better. My new dream is pure. It's honest. It's something that a humble man in a crisp white suit can be proud of. I will create a new chain of chicken restaurants that will bring joy to the entire world and make up for my past misdeeds. Just as your moment grows intimate, you're interrupted by a threatening shadowy presence? It's the spork monster? Is anyone else feeling a bit of deja vu? Yeah, what the hell? Why are we doing this again? I'm sorry, Gorko, but I, I could have swore we already battled you last night. That was Porco, my twin, and I, Gorko, am here to avenge them. Can't we just be friends? Life's too short for making enemies. You toss a biscuit into Gorko's open mouth and he devours it in one gulp. Do I even know what's happening right now at this point? Delicious! You're much better than the evil student who once upon a time turned me into this creature who stands here today. <gasps> I don't believe it! You were human once? I don't know, I was a troll. <laughs> But I was still a student at this school. Until one day, some mean kids with a magic spell book cast a dark enchantment on me and I was forever transformed. <gasps> a magic spell book? It's taking me way too long to realize the point of this. Sounds like there are some bad cooks in the kitchen alive. <laughs> Together, I'm sure we can defeat them. Come back to my hideaway? Uh, hideaway? In your pants? No. Wait! Wait! Stepping inside of Sanders' home. <laughs> Surrounded by his things, you start to feel a special bond with him. The baby picture. <laughs> He's got a goatee in the baby picture. Have you been working on any new recipes of your own lately? I'm always excited to talk about food with another ambitious chef. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm so busy being obsessed with Colonel Sanders that I haven't had my own dreams and my own wishes and thoughts and wonders and beauty. And that's the problem. Wow. That is so powerful. <laughs> well, there is something. It's just a side dish that I've been tinkering with, trying to find the right balance of flavors and textures. I'm not sure I've nailed it yet, but I'm close. Should you reveal your new creation to him or keep it a secret just for you? <gasps> I feel like he might want to try to steal the recipe, but he might try to betray us in the last act. Oh, I feel like he's gonna be like, you don't trust me. But it's like, you didn't trust me either, did you? I've said too much. Please forget I ever said anything. You can practically hear Colonel Sanders' heart beating in his chest. He tries to act demur, but his facade begins to crack. <gasps> I can appreciate a, a good secret, of course. In, in fact, I, I've got many. But I would hope that you could learn to trust me with yours. Well, I, I suppose you did share a secret ingredient with me yesterday, so... It'd only be fair. Ah, uh, yes, uh, uh, about that, you see. Yes, Colonel? <laughs> I haven't been completely honest with you. The secret I told you was a fake. <gasps> you mean, it wasn't one of the real 11 secret herbs and spices? We'd only just met, and I had to make sure that you were trustworthy and capable of keeping my most important secret. To me, my, my recipes are priceless. That secret ingredient you told me, I, I shared it with Miriam, my bestie. No, I didn't! Game is lying! I told her a lie! But now that you've come clean, we can start building our relationship as fellow chefs again. And in that case, I present to you my original coleslaw. <laughs> the shredded cabbage dish glistens in the light of Colonel Sanders' Lux hideaway. Together, you chow down on the creamy slaw. No! Until just a spoonful remains in the bowl. Do you mind if I hold on to the last bite? I like to have it around so that I can admire its taste later and think back on this moment. Ew! Please, make yourself comfortable. I'll be back in just a moment. He's gonna, like, put it in a machine that tells you all the rest- all the, the ingredients. You realize that now would be the perfect time to do some snooping. Tap on an item to discover more about the kernel. <gasps> an adorable little baby boy crawls across the floor. <laughs> From the goatee and mustache combo he sports, you figure that this must be the Colonel Sanders himself. Who frames a baby picture of just the Themselves. Probably the same type of person who would make their own face the logo of the company they founded, am I right? 
Nope. Okay, we gotta tap on the urn. Take a closer look at the, a large urn. It says, here lie the ashes of all my past careers and business failures. <laughs> Poor guy. Is he? Look at his apartment. Look at his house. Tap on an item. <gasps> we gotta look in the room. Through the door we go. Oh, you open the door to Colonel Sanders' closet and find a row of his signature white suits. Take one off its hanger and try it on. The jacket is a bit big for you, but it's soft and comfortable. You give yourself a deep hug, breathing in his scent. They say that home is where the heart is. Is this what they meant? <laughs> no! This is a suit from a man you barely know. This is not your home. Before you can look any further, you hear Colonel Sanders returning. He has a new dish that he's been working on and he wants you to taste it. You try to act casual until he asks you why you're wearing his jacket. Don't be suspicious. Don't, don't be suspicious. I don't usually loan those out, but uh, I must say, it does look good on you. Oh crap, the jacket! You forgot to take it off. Decide that now's your moment and make a big move. Uh, we're doing big move. <gasps> whoa, 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 this isn't that kind of game. Not that we blame you for trying. What do you mean this isn't that kind of game? It's a dating simulator. I'm supposed to be making moves, aren't I? But still, game over? <laughs> Wow. What kind of game is this then? What do you mean? Couldn't the big move just have been like a smooch? I feel duped. I feel cheated. I feel made a fool of. I have to go through all of this again? Everything, the fight, the not fight, the what's going on, go through clicking things and this and stuff. I feel so ashamed that I'm going through all this and then I'm not even going to get to kiss him. If it's not that kind of game, then what is it? Am I wrong? Am, Am I, I wrong? wrong? Creators are cowards. Oh, so you're so Colonel Sanders is all of a sudden. Look, we all we know we all wanted to fuck Colonel Sanders, okay? We all knew that. That's why we're playing the game. That's why we downloaded the game. That's why we clicked new game. We wanted to get him in bed. We wanted to get laid. So why aren't you delivering? Why aren't you delivering like you deliver your fried chicken in a bucket? I want to fuck it, okay? <laughs> I want to fuck it. Okay, I guess we're gonna tell the truth then. I'm I'm fessing up and I'm telling the truth. I think I've developed feelings for you. I might be developing feelings for you too, but I, I'm concerned. I can't let anything get in the way of my dreams. Oh, screw you. Oh, sorry, we can't. Would you say that we're the perfect match? My cuisine and your taste buds, that is. <gasps> what about my cuisine? I am a chef after all. You only like me for my taste buds? You only like me for my mouth? Is that what you're saying? Um, take him down a peg. I know what you're gonna say. I need to be better if I'm gonna leave my mark on this world. Bro, you're so insecure. Like, we get it, you're a failure. <laughs> a single tear begins to fall in the corner of his eyes and kisses out the window. With the rap business partner, I know I can't fail. So you only want me to be your business partner? Overcome with emotion and confused by your feelings, you're on the verge of tears. Unable to speak, the only answer you can find is to run to the door and get home. There's still one more day of school after all. The University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning, waits for no one. Is everyone excited for the final day of school? <laughs> Rinzi, uh, how's that hand feeling? Sure you'll be back in fight and form by this afternoon. Aren't you concerned about my hands, Colonel? Yesterday I almost broke a nail winning so hard. Technically, I don't believe a winner was decided, but your presentation, it was quite impressive. Colonel, whose side are you on? Who do you want as a business partner? Pick, Pick me. me. Choose, Choose me. me. Love, Love me. me. But what about the flavor of my delicate, warm, gooey chocolate sauce? It was... Clear that you're passionate about how your food is received. That's a lot of words to say it was bland. Excuse me, Rinzi. I'm more than capable enough to speak for myself. Are you now? Because you weren't capable enough to get through, uh, what was it? Being a lawyer, being op top 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 and being a mule person? I don't think you are capable. I don't think you're capable if you have to have a pocket on the side of your arm for a pen. Maybe you can tell me more of your thoughts as we walk into class, Colonel? In an attempt to distract yourself from how slighted you feel by that interaction with Ashley, take out the spell book you recovered yesterday and start flipping through the pages. Uh-oh, evil Rinzi era? Whoa, that's that book? It looks like bad news. It would appear to be some sort of grimoire. A grimoire? Like a book of spells? I don't know. You open to a page covered with arcane warnings. I could use this spell here that says it will erase anyone I choose from all of my memories. If I scrub out Colonel Sanders, it would probably keep help me focus better on the upcoming final exam. That is way drastic <gasps> what is that? what is going on 
You've got a memory erasing spell sitting right in front of you. And a pretty good excuse to try it out. This is the choice. This is the choice as if it makes even a sliver of sense. For right now, I think we should keep the memory. You take your friend's advice and put the book away. It's almost time for class. We mustn't be distracted from what lies ahead. The final competition showdown challenge exam. GM. I'm still working on the title, but I think you get it. Test time approaches. See you all in the arena. This is it. The location of your final challenge. A test of will, a test of courage, a test of talent. As planned, you begin to run through a quick test of a recipe you've been working on. Rinzi's famous chicken pot pie. After practicing for months, making this dish comes second nature to you, and you're able to quickly get a fresh pot pie in the oven. But as soon as you do, your cram session is interrupted by Colonel Sanders. Don't you dare steal my pot pie recipe. If you try anything, Colonel, I'm shoving you in this oven. What are you doing here? There's still time before the final exam. Oh, I'm just... <laughs> Taking it all in. I'm lying to him. Dude, I don't trust him. You decide that it's time to put your cooking above your romantic desires. But that decision gets hard to stick to when the oven timer goes off behind you. Okay, okay, you got me. You'll probably start burning any second if you don't pull it out. <gasps> wow. Whoa, you can't put a spoon in the oven? There's no time left. The final showdown's about to begin. Sprinkles lays down the ground rules. There are no rules. That is except to cook with everything you've got. You decide that mac and cheese plus the pot pie you've been practicing are just the dishes that'll push you over the edge to victory. As you frantically prepare your dish, you notice Ashley has her spell book out. Is she gonna use some dark magic to turn the tide? You've got a book of your own and you're desperate not to see her win another battle. Should you take this opportunity to fight magic with magic, even if it's almost certainly evil magic? Remember Colonel Sanders said, if you do it the easy way, it often becomes more difficult. Do it the hard way. Who needs magic when you've got passion? <laughs> Colonel Sanders sees that you've chosen to win on your own terms and he gives you a subtle wink from across the room. You turn to notice that Miriam is at your station, cheering for you. Miriam tosses a handful of spices directly into your boiling noodles. Miriam, get the frick away! You're gonna mess up my dish! It's a secret ingredient! No! She put the weird powder! No! The boiling pot explodes, sending Miriam flying backwards! The watery noodles begin to swirl in the air, bubbling up into a dark cloud that thickens and congeals before your very eyes. Spork monster! It's I, Steve, <laughs> the Spork Monster. Wait, what happened to Gorko? You're not here to battle me, are you? We Spork Monsters are many. I think Gorko had the day off, but I hate to battle. So I'd say you're doing pretty all right. Having suffered this huge setback, you don't know how you could ever win. Give up and drop out of culinary school. You summon extra power from deep down within yourself. Your hair turns mac and cheese orange as culinary energy flows through your body. Yes, indeed. The power you've been summoning immediately fades back out. <laughs> you interrupted my inspiring monologue! Sorry. You begin to levitate off the ground. Energy courses through your body. Impressed with your fortitude, Colonel Sanders decides that you've earned his support. Colonel Sanders unfolds a delicate white towel to reveal the most delicious fried chicken tenders you've ever laid your eyes on. We combine forces to conform the perfect food union. Time's up, students. <gasps> you must now prepare to present your dishes. You and Colonel Sanders, the final cooks, step up together. What began as a bowl of delicious mac and cheese has become something else. Oh, it might be good in concept, but it doesn't look good. Just when I thought I've seen everything in this kitchen, you give me this thing and completely blow me away. In my 49 dog years of life, I have never tasted anything so delicious and perfectly balanced. It's so delicious, in fact, that everyone passes the class. Wait, what is- that doesn't make any sense. The new menu item is so impressive that even the Van Man and Ashley are drawn- drawn back in by its magnetic fragrance. When they gaze upon your mac and cheese bowl, they admit that you are indeed an excellent chef. And they kiss me? No. And they kiss me? Smooch? No. And they want to kiss, too? No. And then they kiss me? No. And then they kiss Kiss. No. And then they kiss me. No. Now that the school year is complete and everyone has graduated, the students return for one last assignment to get their groove on. No ghosts allowed at graduation. Oh my god! It's clearly written in the school's bylaws. Uh, it was never actually a ghost. It was all a trick to get you all to finally notice me. Oh my god. Finally, Colonel Sanders arrives. Howdy, classmates. Why is he wearing a t-shirt? Just like the first day you met him, he has come prepared 
to feed the entire class. However, it's not enough to just give them a bucket of chicken. This time, it's a full meal. <gasps> this still looks so unhealthy. Hey, that's my coleslaw. And, and my mashed potatoes. Wait, those are my mashed potatoes as well. The end? He stole my recipes that we didn't even kiss. No, it's not the end. Thank you. Oh god, I was about to throw my computer out the window. As everyone feasts on their delicious chicken dinner, Colonel Sanders finds you sitting at the edge of the dance floor. I'm doing the cotton eye Joe while he comes up. What are you doing? Sitting all alone. Just waiting for the right person to ask me to dance. Man, I wish I was this smooth. Why don't you tell me uh, uh, what are the qualities that you would expect to find uh, in such a lucky person? Spicy musk, a, a tidy goatee, and a degree from the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning, just to name a few. <coughs> Oh my god, his voice is giving- I think I'm dying. Guys, this game is killing me. Will you dance with me? I would love to! Glide across the dance floor hand in hand with Colonel Sanders. The future stretches out in front of you. And once uh, my 100th franchise is up and running, I'll be ready to take a day off and I'll be so glad to spend it together with you, Rinzi. How sweet. We'll work together and play together. But we won't sleep together, will we? Oh. Colonel Sanders drops, stops dead. He drops. He death, death drops. And then he gets back up and stops dead in his tracks. Work together? Uh, well, uh, I, I think this is something I'll just need to do by myself you f bitch. you said we were gonna be business partners that means you work together you freaking <laughs> but who will help you run your restaurants i don't believe i need help besides based on your time at school here you really think running restaurants is the best path forward you mother f you think you can judge me you think you can judge me after what you did and you failed Oh no! Could it be? You found a love connection but failed to earn Colonel Sanders' respect as a chef. Can you live with only half of him? Will you be able to endure sharing him with his other love, the life of an entrepreneur? I suppose I could enroll in pastry school. Oh my dear Renzi, I'm sure that you'll find your place eventually. And along the way, you'll have me by your side. I don't understand. You're going to be by my side, but we're not going to work together because I'm not good enough to work with you because you want to work alone. And you want to work alone because you want to get there yourself. But you're a failure and you did that alone too. So who knows if you're going to be a failure again alone. <laughs> oh, the end. Oh, the end. Oh, the end. Oh, my God. Get the hell off my screen, KFC. This is not a sponsorship. I exonerate any KFC. Oh my god, the volume. I absolutely hate my life, and I cannot believe that we went through that. I need to go burp, blow my nose, and cry a little bit, and think about love that doesn't exist because Colonel Sanders is an asshole, and that's what we learned. So goodbye, everybody.